and we're here to talk about a particular innovation that happens to be spot on with the kinds of things that Secretary Duncan and the President are talking about. I saw assistance at a math meeting and I was absolutely blown away. The kids doing their homework online were learning half a standard deviation more. We've been <coughs> doubling the number of teachers and students every year for the last, uh, since we started. When, uh, when I first met Christina, she came into my school to, to show assessments, and I showed her this Excel program that I had created, and she said, you know, you can put that on our assessments, and you'll get data back real time from the students, and we can build it in such a way that the students that are struggling will get more of the same questions, and the students that understand it will finish it up, and then they can move on to the next topic. You know, in terms of saving time, focusing my instruction on data and driving it where I need to go, I'm able to put up a report like that and individually differentiate. It was a um, function or not a function and I was wondering why all students put it. So I asked the question, why did so many get this wrong? And so we could have a discussion about it right. and it was powerful. How would, how would you compare the sort of accessibility and uh, kind of intelligibility of the reports that you get out of this as opposed to the MCAS reports that you get. Oh, exponentially better. Talk about the, the access question and the, the, the to, to what degree for any of you is access to technology in the school or in students' home an impediment to scaling this up at the level you'd like to? That's not an impediment as far as we're concerned. I was talking to one of my teachers at, at Dory and the question became, how much access do these kids have? I walked into the classroom. I didn't ask who has a computer at home. I asked, who has a Facebook page? Mm -hmm. They all do. Yeah. So they all have access. <laughs> it may not be the access yeah. that we think it is, but they all have access. Yeah. I think we're at the point where we, we, we need to do more than just keep it within uh, this area of yeah. Worcester. No, and, I, I agree. And, and you asked about how is this going to go viral. Um, I guess I'm typhoid Mary here. Once teachers are given this tool and they're trained in it, they find ways to make it work for them. Mm -hmm.